Last time we got started building the query to find out if our partic any particular photo has likes. Now we're going to write the likes sentences, is what I call them, uh, for displaying on the post itself. So we're going to create a global variable at the very top. And let's go to vars, new private string. I'm going to call it m likes string. And we can just set it to nothing to start off with. And this is what's going to be displayed. So let's go down into our logic here. And so this first case here, so if the likes equals one, we just have one user liking it basically. And so then we go liked by and do split users. We're just gonna have one index and we can do, that's it actually. Just gonna be liked by that, that one person. So now I'm gonna copy that and write it down for the second case here. And it's gonna be liked by so that first person and then also liked by uh, a second person. And now we're just gonna carry on that process. So liked by the first one. Uh, and then instead of using and here, we'll do a comma. And then we're gonna put the and down here. So liked by person one, person two, and person three. And then for the fourth one, very similar process. Going to do person liked by comma one, two, three, and four. And then for this greater than one here, we're going to copy this whole thing, paste it in here, liked by that, 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 and then however many others basically. So in here we'll do split users dot length minus three since we've already printed out three and do others. So it'll be liked by person one, person two, person person one, person two, person three, and however many others. It could be one, two, or a hundred, however many others will show up there. Okay, so uh, then we're probably gonna call our whoops, setup widgets method. That's a good place to call it right here because now we have our like string at least. So let's go into our setup widgets method wherever I have that. Uh, set up widgets. So now here also I can do uh, so m. I can't remember what I called it. Let's go to the top and check out the variables for the likes. Doesn't look like I actually have it here. We got caption. No, we don't have anything for our likes. Back label. Yeah. So we're gonna need another one for our our likes. And let's go down into on create here m likes equals this is just going to be a text view and view find you ready or the id dot uh, i'm thinking it's image likes but we're going to check the layout just in case so java go to res layout and this is going to be layout view post and let's scroll zoom out a little bit here it's going to be this guy right here and it's called image likes yeah so that's that's correct so that's good. We have our our image. Oops, we have our image likes here now. So now let's go down into uh, setup widgets as we were just in there. And now we do m likes set text to the likes string. Cool. Uh, now we can go up to where we we called the get uh, get widgets method before, which was right. It was after one of our queries all right here so we're actually going to get rid of this we don't need this in here anymore because now we're calling it after we've created our likes uh, get our like string so we have get like string being called here and then the widgets will also be set so now we, we just need to call our get likes string so let's go up to the top and go inside of this try catch right here so get likes string and we just want to make sure we call it after uh, we get the photo and let's call it actually after we get photo details also. So let's put get photo details up here as well. Because remember in get photo details, it retrieves the user account settings and the setup widgets method needs those account settings. And also the get like string also needs the user account settings because it retrieves the username. So now, uh, so now we have our Boolean determining whether or not the, the user, the current user has liked that photo we need to set up that logic 
in the setup widgets method. So I'm going to go into test toggle here, and I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy all of this, and I'm going to delete the test toggle method because we don't need it anymore. So let's delete that, and let's go into setup widgets. So we'll scroll down to setup widgets, and down at the bottom of setup widgets here, we're going to go. Uh, well, actually, first I'm just going to paste paste the, what I just copied. And then we're going to make another if statement here, and it's going to be if it's liked by the current user, then that means we're going to want to make it red. We're going to do the red heart. So we're going to put our red heart on touch listener here, and also we're going to set the visibility of what we need to. So we'll do white heart, set visibility, you dot gone. And we'll do red heart dot set visibility, you dot visible. And then we're going to do something very similar. So else if uh, actually, we can just do else because it's either it's it's liked or it isn't. There's no if needed, and we're gonna copy this visibility stuff here, and this one's gonna be visible, and this one's gonna be gone. So the white heart will be visible if the user has not liked it, and the red heart will be visible if the user has liked it. And then we need to also do one last thing up in on create here because remember we set the visibility initially. So let's just delete those and let that get handled by the setup widgets method. So now let's run that and take a look and see if the heart is getting set correctly. Okay, let's check out the profile and click on one and it's not showing the heart highlighted, which is perfect. And that's what we expect because none of them actually have likes yet. So, so far so good. Now we're gonna actually write a method for inserting that like. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we handle one last case in our get likes string method. So we go down to the very bottom and we need to make sure that we handle the case where there is actually no likes. So the only way this data snapshot currently is only going to find if there is likes. So what we need to do is go to the very end of this one right here. So I'm clicking on here, highlighting that bracket, going down and at the end of uh, this, actually it's going to be this bracket right here because of, so look for the, this is going to get called regardless this will only get called if something is found if so if likes are found so let's go to the end of that and here we can do if the data snapshot so data snapshot dot exists we want to look for if it doesn't if it doesn't exist and in the case that it doesn't exist we just want to set the like string to empty and then we also want to uh, do liked by current user equals false and set up the widgets because otherwise set up widgets isn't going to be called and that's actually probably what happened when we just tested because as you can see here it's still displaying the default but really what it should have been displaying is nothing at all so that should uh, that should handle that so now let's go up into our on double tap method which is actually below so on double tap and now we're gonna handle these two cases right here so case one the user already liked the photo and in that case we want to remove a like so let's write some logic here so we can say if it's liked by the current user and we can't forget also that because this is going to iterate through each one of the likes we need to make sure that we're we're, gonna, we're removing the correct one because if we have you know 10 likes 10 people have liked it and this this single snapshot will iterate through each one of them we need to make sure that the current you we're cur looking at the one that the current user added so that's why we need to do this and right here and I'll show you what we're gonna check for we can do single snapshot get value like dot class and then get user ID and we need to make sure that that equals uh, Firebase off get instance get current user and then get user ID and that will ensure that we're removing the correct like because we can't just remove any like we have to make sure that we remove the correct one and then we can use our database reference and do child uh, get string r dot string uh, photos and then child, uh, it'll be photo, so m photo, get photo ID, and then we need to do child, get string, r.string, dot likes, and child. Uh, this is where we're gonna actually need, we're gonna need the key, the ID of the like itself. So to get that, we need to go up here and go string key ID equals single snapshot dot get key and then we're gonna pass that key ID right here that's gonna be the ID of the like and then we want to remove it and so 
we want to remove that one and we also want to remove it from the user photos node. So this is removing it from the photo node. We need to also make sure that we remove it from the user user photos node, which I don't, oh yeah, did I just name user photos right there. So it's gonna be exactly the same, nothing different about that. And then we wanna make sure that we toggle our heart. So M heart toggle like, and then get the like string. So that's, that's gonna be case one. So case two then here, uh, that's gonna be pretty easy. We just do else if, and all we wanna look for is if the current user has not liked this, this image. And in that case, we just wanna add a new like. So add new like, and then we also wanna break the loop because we're not interested in looking at the rest of the data snapshot. And uh, one final case down here is, of course, just like we did in the previous query, we need to watch out if that data snapshot doesn't exist at all. So we have to go, if the data snapshot does not exist, then once again, we're gonna add a new like. Because the only way we're gonna be able to get inside this loop right here is if the user has already liked it in the past or sorry, if there is likes on the photo. But if the photo has absolutely zero likes, there's no way to get inside this data snapshot. And in that case, we're gonna have this scenario right here. So really quick, because this video is getting kind of long, I'm gonna make this add new like method. So I'm just gonna go below here, do private void add new like, and it's not gonna take any parameters. And it's gonna do adding new like. And all I need to do is do new like ID myref.push.getKey to create a new key. And then we need to create a new like. So like like equals new like. And like.setUserID. And this is where we set our, our user ID. So get instance, get current user, get user ID. And then we need to add it. So it's gonna be very similar to what we did up here. So I'm just gonna copy these. Except we're not removing something, we're adding something. So we just paste those down here and child it's gonna be new like ID, new like ID, and then instead of remove value, we do set value to the like. So we just copy that, and there we go. And then additionally, after that, we gotta make sure that we toggle our heart and then get like string. So let's just add this new method here. So add new like and add new like. And let's make sure that's being called. Okay, so let's test this and see if everything's working the way we intended it to. Okay, let's go to the profile and choose a photo. And okay, so that's good. You can see that the likes, there's no like string being displayed here because there is no likes on this photo. So that's perfect. Let's double click this. And we're having issues. Well, let's check the Firebase database to see if anything is actually being inserted and it's not. So it looks like there is something wrong. And I see the problem is right here. As you can see, the single snapshot here, the loop ends here, but I accidentally put this if statement inside of it, making it unreachable. So if I put it here, now that will actually be reachable since we have no likes. So that was not gonna be, the logic is not reachable at that point. This should work now. Okay, let's go to the profile, choose an image, double click. And it did actually get inserted to the database. So I just, I saw it get inserted, I believe right here. Uh, looks, yeah, so it looks like we have a problem with how it got inserted. It took, it went into the user photos node and then it inserted what looks to be a photo ID and then there's the like. So that is not correct. Yeah, cause there's the photo ID there. So something is wrong with the insert. Uh, so let's go to the add new like method right here, and the problem is likely right here. Oh, I made a small mistake here, that's why. It should be user photos, and then also we need their we need their user ID. So Firebase auth, get instance, get current user, get user ID. And because it's a user photos node, so we're, we missed a node. So we have ID, photo ID, likes, new like. Yeah, that should be good. And we also need to add that one up to the top here for when we're removing. So right there. So I'm just gonna delete that one that I inserted from the database. So I'm just gonna delete this, because obviously that's wrong. And now let's run that again and take a look here. 
Okay, head to the profile, choose a photo, like it, and it did get, it got inserted in the database I was watching, and so that actually did get inserted in the correct location, and so which photo is that? This guy right here. So it looks like the like did get inserted correctly, that's great, but for some reason our animation didn't stick. Let's go back and now, okay, so now we're having that error that I was talking about earlier with uh, right here. Expected list will deserializing but got a hash map. So I'm going to have to stop the video here because it's going to take quite a bit of code to fix this issue. And we also, as we saw from before, we weren't getting the correct, the, the, the animation wasn't showing correctly either. So in the next one, we're going to first fix this hash map issue and then we're going to move on to resolving what's going on with our animation. So I'll see you in the next video.